Welcome to WebStar Plus. Write a function in JavaScript to check if a given number is even or odd. In this video, we will look into that. But before that, give this video a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already because I am bringing similar content on this topic. Okay, odd numbers are those numbers that cannot be divided into two equal parts. Whereas even numbers are those numbers that can be divided into two equal parts. A number that is divisible by two and generates a remainder of zero is called an even number. Otherwise, it is an odd number. You can write a function in JavaScript to check if a given number is even or odd using the modulo operator. To do that, define a JavaScript function that takes a number as an argument. Use an if else statement. Use the modulo operator to divide the input number by 2 and check if the result is equal to 0. If it is, the input number is even. If the result is not 0, then the input number is odd. So console log the result. Call the function with the argument and it will show the result. 10 is even, 16 is even, 5 is odd, 1 is odd. The modulo operator returns the remainder of a division operation. If a number is evenly divisible by 2, the remainder will be 0. This is what we have done here. You can also use the bitwise operator to check if the last bit of number is 1 or 0 to find if a number is even or odd. To do that, define a JavaScript function that takes a number as an argument. Use the bitwise AND operator to perform a binary operation on the input number. The binary operation checks if the rightmost bit of the binary representation of the input number is set or is equal to 1, which indicates oddness. If the rightmost bit is set, the result of the operation will be 1 and the input number is odd. If it is not set, the result will be 0 and the input number is even. Call the function. Call the function at the end with the argument that will display the result. 10 and 16 are even, 5 and 1 are odd, 1. So this is how we can check if a given number is even or odd in JavaScript. Okay, I hope it helped. Like, share, subscribe and I will see you in the next video.